Ladies and gentlemen, budding captains, welcome yourselves back to Merchant of the Skies. I thought uh, we would take a quick little look at our quest situation, uh, just to see where we are and uh, what we've got to do over the course of this episode. Uh, so, currently, we're, uh, we're looking at the active quests. We have a tourism mission. We need to return the tourists to Iron Mount Island, so that's probably something that we'll be able to do. I mean, that's a fairly good chunk of change that we'd be entitled to. Uh, also, we've got... We've got these, um, we've got these tickets. We've got nine tickets at the moment, so we probably want to spend them over the course of this episode. Uh, we need to deliver resources to Edge Tree. Cool. I mean, at the moment, I think we've got, like, four stone in our hold. Uh, so not enough to do this mission, but certainly we're not far off it. Uh, and we also need to deliver resources to Ravenburn as well, and that's just 16 apples. Cool. I can definitely do that. Then, in terms of big goals, we've still got to find the, the lighthouse ruins. I have absolutely no idea where these are supposed to be. We need to find one more inn. We need to feed the fish god, apparently. A thousand food, and we fed him 54 apples already. And we need to accumulate 15,000 gold. Okay, fine. Uh, so, what I want to accomplish over the course of this episode, as I've already said, is I want to try and upgrade all of my infrastructure. I want to expand my infrastructure. As you'll know, we've got three out of five buildings here, and uh, and I want to, I want to start putting in place a whole bunch of the stuff that will allow me to, uh, you know, get advanced, get advanced buildings, which will then allow me to, you know, make resources for the, for the inns, really, and then I can start, you know, getting them to trust me and whatnot, so that's kind of the goal at the moment. Right, let's go and travel a little bit. I need to go and get some, get some juice, I think. So, I mean, is there anything that I can sell or buy? I mean, is there anything? Mm, not really. Not really. Let's head over to Northfield. Sure. Head over to Northfield. Let's get a let's get a little refill here. I also need to visit the uh, the land of the giants at some point. Ooh, and something else that I should have highlighted right at the very beginning. I absolutely want to get a brand new ship. I mean, I know we can't get a brand new ship in the ship workshop, but I want to find. I want to fly in, uh, to fly in? I want to find a flippin' shipwright and get a decent ship. Now, it's worth noting, it's worth noting that the shipwright in, uh, in, in Kingsford is, is garbage and will only allow me to buy one sort of level of ship higher, whereas I want to, I want to go and buy a big ship. I mean, we've got a decent chunk of change, I might as well, right? Okay, cool, let's, uh, let's chart the course, chart a course for this area up here, it's a bazaar. Okay. Sea, sea field up there. I mean, we are heading to Iron Mount. That's kind of the, the goal at the minute. Copper hold. Cool. I should have hit that area over there. Let me go for a little bit of an explore over this way. There is a recharge station over here anyway. Trade station. Uh, cheap. Iron is cheap. How much is iron going for over here? Iron's not selling in Iron Mount. How unbelievably ironic that is. Okay, I mean, continue around a little bit. And now I think we need to go to Iron Mount. As I say, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get too precious about my batteries. But um but it's always nice not to, you know, just blow through your batteries. Right. Recharge for 15 gold, sure. And what am I doing? Oh yes, I'm dropping off the tourist right here, and we're getting a huge chunk of change. Then I'm going to take a tourist on board. Sure, uh, the Majestic Carrot again. I mean, we're going down that way anyway. That's cool. I'll also hire three people because we will undoubtedly need them. Can't buy any wood here, can I, by any chance? No. Sand is cheap. Sand is cheap. Let me buy sand. I'll buy sand. I'll buy... I'll buy berries as well, since I need... Since I need a bunch of... Can't move all items. Oh, yes, that's a problem. Uh, since I need a bunch of berries for a bunch of my missions. But, you know, the berries can wait. Berries are fairly easy to come by, I think, on the in the grand scheme of things. Right, so. I want to find that shipwright. But the problem is, is that I have absolutely no idea where the shipwright is. I mean, I don't suppose... Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I, actually, that, that works out not too badly. But I didn't mean to click on there. Uh, but apparently, if you click uh, if you click on the town name, it'll just take you directly to the town name, which is totally fine. Post office is flipping useless. Not bothered. Uh, we'll go for a full recharge, sure. And let's have a little look at the ship right here. So as you can see, we can literally only get a pink, 
which is nice and all, but I mean, it's not. It's not really. It's not really. Uh, it's not really big enough. It's not really good enough. I mean, there was another. There was another town that had a shipwright, and for the life of me, ah, Cloudpole. Okay, Cloudpole. I think is. Uh, I mean, seems like a pretty darn good place to go. Slightly underpriced. What have we got over here? Very expensive. Okay. Ravenburn, what do we need to do? Oh, yeah, it's resource delivery at Ravenburn, isn't it? I mean, we've got sand. We've got sand on board at the moment. Anywhere that'll take sand. There's a, a swarm of visitors at the bazaar. But we can just go over here and sell our sand in, uh, in Golddale. So let's go and do that just real quick. There we go. So ditch all... Ditch all this sand. Brilliant. And we make a good chunk of change in the process. I have uh, extracted all of my money from the bank. And so I don't really want to play it too risky. Yeah. What resources do we need to deliver here? It's literally just 16 berries. I mean... Are there any... Is there anywhere that I can get berries slightly cheaper? doesn't it doesn't look that way that's fine okay let's go back over and let's buy let's buy as much of the buy of, as much of the wood as we can I mean the wood is cheap anyway so I mean we might as well get it and then let's just buy a bunch of berries well in saying that I don't really want to buy berries because that will kind of like wipe out the profit of doing that will wipe out the profit of doing the mission in the first place. So I, I, I suspect that we want to find somewhere where berries are just ridiculously cheap. Ah, it's down this way. Let me, let me see. Let me see, let me see. This is good news. Okay, when do you refresh? Berries are cheap over there. I mean, look, this is, this is just brilliant. So what we'll do is we'll literally go down here. And buy, and buy the berries. Buy the berries on the on the cheap. Let's go and do it. Okay, the week is over. 58, uh, 58, 58 ducats per week. Fifty-eight ducats per week is, I mean, a completely achievable, a completely achievable and completely affordable turn of events. So, I mean, I'll take that. Let me buy as many berries as I possibly can since they are so darn cheap here, literally as cheap as they get. And then let's immediately pop across to Ravenburn. I think we should have enough juice to get across there. Brilliant. And I'll tell you what we can do whilst we're over here. There we go, complete the resource delivery. Brilliant. Uh, get a full recharge. And also, I will buy, I will buy all of this goodness, this wonderful goodness, as much as I can anyway. And that should, theoretically, if I'm not mistaken, allow me to go to Eden Tree. I'm going to go to the Eden Tree via, via down this way, see if there's anything else that we can pick up. Ooh, there's a ship right over in Greenlow as well. Well, let me stop over in Greenlow to see how much a ship is going to cost and what ships I can actually get. Deliver 30, deliver 30 wood. I mean, I can do that. I can totally do that. Uh, purchase a ship. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, I would love to get a cog. I would love to get a cog. So this is, I think, going to be the next. This is going to be the next purchase. This is what we're. This is what we're going to do. Rather than spending a whole bunch of money, a whole bunch. Rather than spending a whole bunch of money on on you know a pathetic little ship, we're gonna we're gonna come back here with 1,500 ducats, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do that. That's exactly what we're going to do. I'm super excited. Let's freaking do this. This is going to be brilliant. Okay. So, first things first. Let's get the mission completed. And then, let me see if we can take a guild task. Deliver 30 sand to Edge Tree Island. I mean, sure, I can do that. I'm not over the moon about it, but it is what it is. We also need to visit the Majestic Carrot, so we might as well do that. Cloudford... Normal price. I mean, is there anywhere? Is there anywhere nearby? I mean, Northfield. Northfield is actually not super far away. 
how much money is in the Northfield trading post? I think we straight up head to Northfield, to be honest. Yeah, I think we straight up head to Northfield. But we head there via the Majestic Carrot? What's over at Greenlow? Oh yeah, it's 30 wood. That's fine. Okay, let's go to... Let's go to the Majestic Carrot, then let's go to Seafell. Maybe for a recharge. There we go. Let's visit the Majestic Carrot. We'll do another Sing Song whilst we're here, just to make ourselves a little bit more friendly with the Carrot Man. Or woman. There we go. Orange, red. Easy. Green, orange, red. Green, orange, red. Red, blue, red, orange. Red, blue, red, orange. Oh, that's right. Oh, and we get some free wood as well. Don't mind if I do. Okay, do you reckon we're going to be able to get to Northfield just on our current charge? I actually feel like I probably am. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was so close. We're on literally 0 0.2 out of 3 charge, which is very, very close. But that's that's totally fine. Uh, right. Upgrade ship. Nope. I will take a full recharge whilst I'm here. Let me sell off all of this wonderful, 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 wonderful berry stuff. And also, there's a bunch of wood. There is a bunch of wood that we could sell here. And the uh, wood is going for a fairly decent price as well. Although only 187 ducats. I feel like that's a no for me. Yeah, let's just not 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 do that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, let's let's just not do that. Uh okay, so now we're actually gonna go and get a freaking brand new ship, which is super, super exciting. Uh it was in Is it Greenlow? I think it was Greenlow. We need to bring 30 wood. We need to bring 30 wood to Greenlow. I mean, we could go via... I mean, I I don't have the resources for this anymore, do I? Oh, no, I do. I have the... That's the tourist mission there. Let's go... Let's go to Kingsford. Because if I go to Kingsford... If I go to Kingsford, I can buy a bunch of wood. Right? So I buy as much wood as I possibly can. And then we can go down to... I think having this bar is just messing with my, my scroll. Yeah, we can go down to Greenlow and we can deliver all of the wood that we possibly could need. And that will give me even more money, which would be would be wonderful. I mean, I don't know about the logistics of going straight to, you know, the what I would take to be the... Oh, we've already bought out all the wood here. Um, I don't know what the logistics are of buying the most expensive ship. But... I feel like we probably cannot do that. There's 12 wood in storage here. So I've got 12 wood on me right now. You know what? Let's not faff around with this. Let's just go to... Let's just go to Greenlaw. In fact, you know what? No. What am I talking about? Let's go Alderkirk. It's en route anyway. We'll pick up... We'll pick up all of the wood from the storage. Yep. There we go. And in fact, how much is it going to cost me to get an upgrade? It's going to cost me 11 wood and 4 and four stone. I'm going to do that, actually. That's not the thing that I actually wanted to upgrade, but that's okay. Uh, that was a bit of a... Oh no, hold on. That was actually the thing that I wanted to upgrade. I didn't want to upgrade... I didn't want to upgrade this. I don't want to... I don't want to produce lumber yet. We have absolutely no need for lumber, but we have every need for wood. So, fine. Okay, cool. So then head down to Greenlow, where the wood is still slightly underpriced, which is brilliant. Uh, new stock has just come in, though, so that kind of scares me a little bit. Okay, wood is still underpriced. Unfortunately, 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 it's just not enough. Right. I'll purchase the ship. Purchase the ship. Brilliant. Oh, would you look at that? That is huge! Absolutely gargantuan. Absolutely gargantuan. The largest. Okay. Recharge for 52 gold. How much storage do we have? We got 25 freaking storage. We've got four upgrade slots. Optimal crew is four. We've got four crew at the moment, so that's pretty darn brilliant. The storage is now absolutely gargantuan. I feel like we've we've traveled light years into the future. 
That is brilliant. So, I mean, looking at the, the ship purchasing, this is the, I guess, like, the, the highest level of ship. The Berlin. Oh, I mean, that's cool. That's cool with me. That's totally cool with me. We still need just a little bit more wood in order to satisfy... In order to satisfy that mission. Edge tree, we need 30 sand as well. I mean, sand and wood are underpriced at stone lock. Also, look at this. We're going to barely have to fly around and find the recharge station. Which is brilliant. I'm not even going to fill up here. It's going to be fantastic. Right, you know what? Just buy all the wood that we can. Um, buy all the sand that we can as well. He says... Actually, maybe we don't need to buy all the wood that we can. Just buy what I need. Sure, 30 sand and... 30 sand and a bunch of wood. Uh, the reason that I'm saying we're only going to buy what we need is because I am a little bit concerned that the end of the week is, is coming up, and I'd like to make sure that we get everything squared away, i.e. both of the missions squared away before the end of the week so that we don't, uh, so that we don't go into debt with, uh, with the bang. Uh, with, the, with the bang? With the bank. There we go. Brilliant. I'll take another guild task. Eh, sure. I mean, it's going to be a lot easier to... Um, it's going to be a lot easier to do to do missions now because we'll just be able to keep more resources on the ship. Which is brilliant. Uh, oh, yeah. There was a shipwright that we had the, uh, the delivery order with. Okay, shipwright's customer. Resource delivery order... 30 wood again. I mean, I will take 30 wood again. I mean, that is that is I mean, that's a brilliant mission for us to have. A brilliant brilliant mission for us to have. I mean, now we're back up to 1257 ducats. I mean, that is fantastic. That is absolutely absolutely delightful. Uh right. Well, I think we can afford a brand new island, but I don't really want to do that quite yet. What I'm really looking to do what I'm really looking to do is twofold. First of all, we need to find somewhere that stone is dirt cheap. Because we need stone for uh, for upgrades. So it's cheap, reasonably cheap in uh, in mistal. In mistile, mistily. So we could go over there and pick it up. That's it's reasonably priced in Ravenburn as well, isn't it? Yeah, let's, let's pop across to Ravenburn just whilst I'm here. We might as well, you know. We'll head over here. Uh, nope. Not a guild quest. Yeah, we'll buy... I tell you what, we'll buy the sand. We'll buy the spices. Now that I can hold so much stuff, I mean, I'm just going to. Like, there's no reason not to, right? This is a proper, a proper trade mission. Refill half. There we go. And then, what I would very, very much like to do is head right across to the Isle of Giants down here. And then I'd like to explore this area a little bit. So I'll head over to Parkford. Why not? Head over to Parkford. Don't get slowed down. All right, get slowed down. That's that's fine too, I guess. The week is over. 85 bucks in fees. Uh, we need five sand and four... I mean, we can totally do this. Let's visit. Let's visit Edge Tree and just, uh, you know, score ourselves a uh, score ourselves a little extra bounty whilst we're waiting. Recharge for eighty gold. Oh my goodness, the recharge the recharge rate is now actually becoming a little bit ludicrous. Twenty sand. What do you know? What do you flipping know? Okay, this is exactly what I was talking about. We're gonna be able to do so many more of these missions in quick succession because we just have a larger storage. I mean, not even a slightly larger storage, the substantially larger storage. Right, let's go up this way. And let's head down this way. Great, so we've caught the wind. We'll head on over to the Isle of Giants. Gem mine, I mean, I am interested in purchasing a gem mine, although I think I want more wood production. Wood production seems to be a fairly good thing to get. Uh, let's go and check out our skills. Stay and listen for a little bit. What have we got? Trade post uh, income tax reduced by 25%. Sure. Reduce human recruitment costs by 50%. That's quite nice. You get a 1% higher weekly interest rate. 25% off building upgrade costs. We've already got that already, so that's fine. 
15% chance to get extra resources on any of the mines. That seems brilliant. Bread, we're not making bread yet. Increase SIP module durability by 25%. 10% uh, of maintenance costs. Ugh. Refuel fuel consumption. Reduce fuel consumption by 10%. I mean, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. We can now build one extra island. Apple production. I mean... I mean, uh, I don't love any of these upgrades particularly highly, particularly highly, particularly much. Um, we'll take, we'll take travel speed, sure, and then I'll also get, I'll also get one extra building, sure, one extra building on the island, on the, on the island. That just sort of future proofs me. And then what I'd like to do is I'd like to go up here and see if I can find the flipping lighthouse place. Said it was southwest. Don't lie to me. Ancient lighthouse restoration cost. Oh my goodness, we're flipping able to do it. I'm delighted. Let's head over uh, over to Landkirk, where the recharge cost is going to be pretty darn high, but that's okay. Let's see what I can sell. I mean, sure. Average price pay. I mean, the average price pay doesn't really make things any better. Let's sell off the sand since that's very expensive. I'll buy some of the dye as well. Or some of the spices even. Whatever the heck these are called. No, these are the dyes, I think, aren't they? And uh, I think I think I'll also buy the spices. And then we can just uh, we can just skedaddle, really. Recharge for 105 fully. That is that is daylight robbery. That is absolute daylight robbery. However, we have found the lighthouse, and that is that is what matters. I'm over the flipping moon. Right. We don't need to recharge. What have I got here? Hmm. I could take the wood, but I don't think I really want to take the wood. Hire three people. Don't think I really want to hire three people. Rebuild the lighthouse is going to take... It's going to take 15 wood and 30 sand. Not to mention the fact that I'm sure we're going to have to do it five times. So, I mean, that's something to keep in mind. Sand is expensive. Spices are very expensive. All right, cool. Let's head up to Skykirk. And then what I'd like to do is I'd like to go and head to the very top of the world where we should be able to get a few more modules. Uh, upgrading the ship, by the way is something which we should absolutely do. I mean, shovels allows digging in the sand, allows taking contents on board. I feel like I've got to take the crane. I've got to take the crane. Move 25% uh, faster. Yeah, I mean, I would like stronger sails, to be honest. Stronger sails would be pretty darn brilliant. No, uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the flipping market. Just give me the market. Right. Norm dies are normal price. I mean, look, we can definitely make money with that. Uh, with the dies. To be honest, we probably maybe should. I'll, uh, I'll use that to buy five gems. Gems are slightly underpriced, so that'll be nice. Sure, we'll buy some gems. We won't make a huge amount of money, but it'll at least... It'll at least be something. And I could now... No, I won't be able to sell you back. That's fine. Okay, we did hit the next level, unfortunately. Pretty irritating that we've just been to the to the realm of the giants or whatever. So, look, that is what it is, I guess. Uh, what am I looking to do? Edge tree, we got 20 sand. We don't have 20 sand on our, on our ship at the moment. We should maybe think about getting a sand island. I mean, how close... Are we to a sand island? I mean, there's an apple grove up there. I mean, that sounds like a pretty good investment, if you ask me. There is a couple of sand islands that I've seen around. Ravendale's a sand, uh, a sand pit over here. But we don't really have the resources on us to develop. Yeah, we don't really have the resources on us to develop an island at the, at the moment. I mean, wood really is what we need, which is why I've been trying to develop my... Uh, my, my my forest as quickly as I possibly can. That's not the one. Yeah, the one in Alderkirk. Yeah. We need to get the Lumberjacks hut, hut upgraded, in fact. 
I think I want to get uh, a few more Lumberjack Hut upgrades. So we'll swing past uh, Seabury and we'll pick up the stone in storage there. And then we'll swing across to Alderkirk and we'll pick up the, the wood that's in storage there. And that'll at least get us an upgrade for the Lumberjack's Hut as well. But in the meantime, let's see if we can go and complete some missions. And ideally, we can go via the... It's, it's the worldly market that I think we're after. Yeah. And that will allow us to use tickets... That will allow us to sell tickets in order to get uh, stuff upgrades for our ship. Excuse me? Ugh, this flipping thing. Yeah, no worries here. There's a recharge station anyway. Totally fine. Brilliant. Give me what you got. Recharge, 105 gold. Daylight flipping robbery. But it is what it is. Right, complete the carrot tourism quest. We get a good chunk of change. Get us another ticket. Do I want to take another tourist mission? I can take another tourist mission, sure. Why the heck not? I mean, like, it always seems to be the majestic carrot. The mysterious hands. I mean, the mysterious hands are fairly nearby. We haven't visited them in a while, actually. They're over... Yeah, they're over there. Uh, we haven't visited the mysterious hands in a good long time. Also, there is still so much to discover. And I haven't really done that much exploring recently. So I guess we'll, you know, we'll explore over here. Oh, hold up. Week is over. 85 ducats. I mean, that's totally fine. Extract. Cannot gather scrap. For module repair. Oh, I see. That is, um, that is scrap which we use to repair modules. Well, that's completely fine. None of my modules need to be repaired at this exact moment in time, which is, which is delightful. Very, very happy with that. Right, so, upgrade the ship. We're able to get exactly, exactly some super, super duper stuff here. What have we got? I mean, a scrap processor, whenever durability of this module becomes full, it adds one iron into the ship storage, if it has enough room. Gather two times the scrap. Installs lightning catcher, allows gathering batteries from storms. I mean, that's cool. Auto charger, automatically charge ship when visiting a port with charger if you have the money. I mean, that would be an administrative, I mean, boon. It would be incredible. High durab durability pickaxes that allow mining minerals. I mean, magic sails, I think, as unexciting as it actually is, I think we should go for. I think I'll take magic sails and I'll take scrap processor. There we go. So I think that should allow us to... I think that should allow us to do a few bits and bobs. So I should now be able to take scrap on board and theoretically, you know, get a little bit of extra iron. That's at least what I read that to be. That's crates. So that's different from scrap. Oh man. Okay, this is brilliant. So is that hurting the durability of my crane? It is, actually. Okay, so I can't let that be destroyed. But that's completely that's completely fine. Uh, Copper Scar, there is a recharge post here, is there? There is no recharge post there. I mean, that's a little bit irritating. There's not even a recharge station at Ravenmount. Okay. I mean, we've got batteries. I mean, why don't we just go across the mysterious flipping hands? Why not? We're gonna burn a couple of batteries in order to get there. But it'll be worth it. Took five batteries to recharge the ship? What? Took five batteries again? Oh my goodness. Okay, I didn't realize how inefficient it actually was. Right, take a look at the mysterious hands. Let me see let me see how we're doing cargo wise. We got ten. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it takes five. Five flipping batteries. Alright, well that's that's a big yikes for me. Edgefield, there is a recharge station at Edgefield. Let's go up there and get that done. Oh, goodness gracious me. I just refilled the batteries. That's deeply irritating. Right, buy or sell goods. What have we got? Normal price. Iron is cheap. Underpriced. Okay, I mean, that actually, there's a bunch of stuff that we can buy here for uh, a fairly good price. Iron ore. Yep. Give me all the woods. No, not those. I'll sell... Nah, you know what? No, I'll keep that. And I'll buy 20. Sure. Why not? 
More importantly, I'll recharge fully for a hundred and whatever it is. Gold. Ugh, I'm so annoyed at that. I'm so annoyed that we just used five batteries there. That's scrap up there, so that's worth bearing in mind. Now that I've got a scrap processor, we'll need to, you know, we'll need to, we'll need to consider pretty much getting scrap whenever we get the opportunity to do so. Because now it means that rather than repairing, if we don't need to do any repairing, that, oh, hold up. Mm, I can sell off the spices. I, I'll keep, the, I'll, to be honest, I'll keep the spices. I'll buy the sand, though. The sand is dirt cheap. And then let me get the tourism uh, the tourism mission completed as well. Yeah. Anyway, as I say, I need to I need to consider the scrappage now. Right. Let's go down this way. Extract, 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 extract. Oh, brilliant. Okay. We need to keep an eye on things. But that's a okay with me. I'm happy to keep an eye on things. What's being sold in Kingsford? Let's go to Kingsford. And let's see what they've got in the store. Because I'm really after a bunch of wood, actually. That's pretty much pretty much what I would I would I like. Uh, we can sell off the berries and the gems. I mean the gems seem the gems seem very, very lucrative. Average price paid, 112. I mean, why don't we see if we can try and get ourselves a a gem island. Trade post is not have enough money to, to give me all that to give me all that that stuff. I mean Alright, as it turns out, it's the gems which are It's the gems which are making the real money. Alright. Recharge for 13 gold. I mean it's so dirt cheap to do it at Kingsford that makes me feel great, actually. There we go. And we'll head over yonder. And what I would like to do is take her store goods. Oh, look at this. This was a very, very, very productive encounter. I mean, we could indeed upgrade the stone mining to the next level, and maybe even the next level after that. Let's flip and do it. Let's flip and do it. All right, we are, we are maxed out. Tell you what, I am actually going to upgrade that storage to level 2. And that will just give us a little bit more storage. That did completely wipe out all of my wood, which I'm a little bit disappointed in. However, ooh, let's go and test out the scrap just whilst I'm down here. Right, so the scrap. I thought the scrap was going to automatically repair the crane. That is a bit of a bummer. Okay, so we've basically just bought a crane which might not be forever. I guess we'll 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 come to terms with that in a little bit. I'm sure there is a way to repair the module, but I I don't have the ability to do that at the moment. Okay. Take all of the wood, take all of the iron. Uh the only what am I doing? The only reason that I had the iron here in the first place was cuz I didn't really want to lug it around everywhere, but now that I've got the space to do so, I can uh, I can just leave it there. Okay, Lumberjack's hut, let's get that upgraded and let's get that upgraded to level 5 as well. Brilliant. So we're now hitting we're now hitting five a day of both of both wood and also stone, which is very, very nice indeed. That leaves us with four wood, which isn't enough to do very much. Uh, lumber production is still off. I'm not super happy about that. But it is what it is. Cuts wood into lumber. We do have a sawmill, but it's just turned off at the moment. Ore and glass from sand. No, recharge your ship for a much lower price. I mean, I would love that, but I don't have iron ore. Um, a caravan office. Building a recharge station. Sure, maybe building a recharge station. A recharge station would be would be a good first port of call. But I guess that is what it is. We'll uh, we'll leave that there for now. What have we got? Thirty wood. I mean, I am very very low on on wood at the moment. Is there anywhere? that is willing to sell me wood for a dirt cheap price. I know I know Kingsford has just You know what? Chart for stone lock, sure. Week is over. Remaining balance minus 40. For goodness sake, okay, we've gone into horrific debt again with the bank, which is I mean unbelievably irritating. 
I honestly thought we had more than enough, uh, more than enough money to tide us over for the weekend. But as it turns out, that was a ridiculous assumption to make. A ridiculous assumption to make. A truly ridiculous assumption to make. And let's buy more berries. I can't even buy more berries. We'll buy some berries. Buy ten more berries. Sure. Right. So that has kind of torpedoed my, my plans. Uh, we need to... Oh, sand. Ah, sand. We've got, we've got the opportunity to, to get sand over here. We've got 25 sand. We need 20 sand over here in Edge Tree. Cool. Let's go and do that. Let's go and do that. Let's do a couple of missions. Let's do a couple of missions. I was kind of thinking, hey, we'd be able to... We'd be able to maybe uh, 10 sand. Oof. That's a bit of a bummer, actually. Can I buy sand here? No. I cannot buy sand here. Take tourists on board. Oh, come on. The Garit the Explorer, that's the other end of the world. That's where we went to go and get the uh, the ship upgrades. The, with the tickets. That was a little bit ridiculous, actually. Right. 30 wood? I mean, we do not have 30 wood, do we? I mean, wood is the thing that I'm looking for. Yeah. Sand's expensive. I mean, we're, we're okay for money now, but... Hmm. Let's go get some crates. I mean, you never know. We might find seven wood over here. I mean, we found five wood. I mean, that was... That was not bad. It's still not enough to tide us over, but, I mean, it's something at least, right? Any... Any wood anywhere. Also, anywhere that'll take gems. I am looking for... For gems. Anywhere that'll take gems, I'm interested in. Sand is cheap. Spices are slightly underpriced. Slightly underpriced as well. I mean... Expensive. The stone is expensive. I mean, if there's an area where stone is very expensive, I would be interested in going there. Cloud Crag. Let's go to Cloud Crag. All right. Two bits of scrap. That was a little bit, a little bit annoying that I didn't stop and and deal with that properly. But that's okay. Right. I am conscious of the fact that I do want to pay off my, my debt to the bank, which really ticks me off. But uh, it is what it is. Right. Gems. Brilliant. And let's sell off a little bit of stone as well. I guess we can kind of parlay that into tea leaves. Yeah, parlay that into tea leaves. And one bit of iron, sure. Okay, so that'll make us a good chunk of change. I'm not displeased with that. I'm just slightly irritated that the bank has forced me to do such, a, such an irritating thing. That at least cleans up our cleans up our storage a little bit. Oh, man, how do I how do I repair this stuff? Oh, there we go. It does repair. It does repair. It totally repairs all of the modules. Okay, that's brilliant. I didn't uh, I didn't realize, but it totally does. Right, we are looking for just a little bit more wood. Normal priced berries. I'm looking for I'm looking for berries, berries, anything berry related I'm interested in. Spices are very expensive, that's cool. I think we got to get a gem mine honestly, like where's the nearest gem mine? Is it Goldbury? No, that's iron deposits. I think we have to get we have to get gems. I think the nearest gem mine might be I say that Blueshire is that really the nearest is that really the nearest gem mine? I think it straight up might be. Scrap down here, by the way. But we are also very, very low on batteries. And, uh, and we are almost completely out of juice. What have we got here? Sand. We could sell off our sand, although that is not advisable. I feel... I'll buy some tea leaves. Sure, I'll sell off my berries. I'll, I'll get my tea leaves. It allows me to get a little bit more money. The reason that I kind of want to do it, as you know, is because I want to pay off 
I want to pay off the, uh, the the ridiculous prices that the the bank have, uh, have forced me to have forced me to repay. Thirty wood. Oh, let's go via scrappage. There we go, and that has replenished the crane a little bit, which is good. Southdale. Uh, we could actually maybe do that ancient lighthouse restoration thing. No, that's that's a lie. We can't do that. We can get some wood at a normal price, which does seem A-OK -okay to me. But I think we just need to go via the bank and just and just do what we need to do. Tell you what, I can go up up to uh, the house. Not the house. Uh, Seafell. That's the, that's the term that I was looking for. We'll go up to Seafell and we'll actually sell off this wood. Because the wood is very expensive here and I've got 28 of the stuff. So we'll be able to make a decent decent chunk of change here. Yeah, so let's go and do that. Brilliant. And then let's head up to the bank, which is over at Brightdale. What the heck is this? What the heck is that? Alderpole. I have no idea. I have no idea what's up here. Let's um let's go. Let's go check it out. Let's absolutely go and check it out. Okay, uh, we don't have sand. Uh, can I go and manually discover or man manually dig up sand here? I think I've already burned that bridge. I totally haven't. Give me five sand. Five sand? We got three sand. We got four sand. That's a, that's a crying shame. There is another sand area over here. There is Ravendale. Oh, dude, it's so close. It's so close. Normal priced sand over here. Let's go and let's go over to Copper Scar and get normal priced sand. That seems like an absolute must. Slightly underpriced spices. Sure. Give me that and then give me that as well. Sure. I mean, I'm just looking for an opportunity to sell these tea leaves. I have no idea where I'm going to sell them, but I'm going to sell them at some point. Right. Then let's go to the bank. Let's go to the bank and, you know, let's all watch as the bank robs me for everything that I have. Right, so we've invested a little bit and now we're just waiting for the end of the week. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get to the bank before, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to get to this mission before the weekends, but as it turns out, it was only 85 ducats. So as long as we keep that figure, 85 ducats in uh, in our heads, then we should be totally fine. And it turns out there is also a ship right over here. Oh my goodness, a caravel. And also a carrack. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. An Atakebun. What the heck? Is that that cost sixty? I thought I thought I was getting like an end game ship, and it turns out that I I'm an idiot. I, I, I'm I'm a total idiot. Uh, thirty wood. I mean, I don't think we have anywhere near thirty wood, but I will take it. Sure, I will take it. We need to go up to the worldly market anyway. Oh, you idiot potato! I think, I mean, I'm running out of, I should have recharged here. In fact, I can't even recharge here. Can I recharge here? I am very, very low on juice. Alderpole. I think I need to go to Alderpole. I've got five batteries. In fact, I don't have, any, I don't even have any batteries in the bank. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't have any batteries in the bank. This is a... Uh, I, I completely, completely did not realize that I am trapped out here without any flipping batteries. Okay, so I have no idea what's going to happen now. We might just be doomed to float among the the clouds forever. I mean, this is bad. This is, this is very, very bad. Am I going to get fined something? Probably. There's nothing around here. There's absolutely nothing around here. Right. 
Okay, tow back to nearest charge station, 27. All right, as it turns out, that that is that is not the worst that it could be. And you know what? We'll actually go past some scrap, which is which is also not terrible. I mean, I'm still pretty embarrassed, to be honest, because we still need to pay 130 bucks for a recharge. And, uh, and that still leaves me with very, very little money to do anything. I mean, we do have a decent amount of cargo, but... I mean, come on. I need to... I need to get my act together. Scrap over there. We do have a little bit in the bank, but it's, it's not very much. Uh, what do I have to sell? I mean, we've got sand... Sand and tea leaves. I mean... Sand and tea leaves. Yeah, I tell you what, Landkirk, probably a pretty good place to go. Let's go over here. I tell you what, we'll uh, we'll uncover a little bit of new territory as well. Wonderful. Right. Give me your best price. How developed is this market? Not very developed. Not very developed. Okay. Okay, all of the tea leaves disappeared. That's wonderful. Spices, I'll buy the spices as well. Sand, I'll keep the sand. Gems are expensive. Right. Trade post developed. Brilliant. Mm. I was going to say, we could sell off some of this sand. No, you know what? I'll keep the sand. I'll keep the sand for now. Right, I'll keep the sand for now. And then what I'm going to go and do... How am I doing for, for charge? I'm actually do, not doing too badly for, for charge at the moment. I'm going to go up here. Yeah. Find a bunch of cherries, which is, I mean, okay, I guess. Skykirk. Let's go to Sky um, Skykirk. Brilliant. Then we'll sell off the spices. We'll sell off the spices. We'll get ourselves a little bit of a recharge. What am I looking for? That. Right. Sell off the spices. Brilliant. In fact, there's uh, more than enough money to make a good amount here. Maybe I'll just keep that sand for now. We'll buy the berries. Sure. Buy all of the berries. If they're slightly underpriced, then that means there's money to be made there. Sure. And then we need to make sure that we get rid of these berries as soon as we possibly can. Berries are cheap. I mean, give me... Give me a, a, a good a good place to sell berries. Northfield. How developed is the market in Northfield? It should be pretty... Yeah, it should be pretty developed. Okay, I think that's what we're going to go and do. We're going to go to here. I should have recharged. That's okay. We can recharge in either Seafeld or Farpole. Which is cheaper? Farpole. Sure. To be honest, we can probably make it to Northfield. Yeah, we'll make it to Northfield. There we go. And the week is just about to end, or it will end in about a day and a bit, so we've got to be... We've got to be ready. I tell you what, optimizing where you refill your... Your, uh, your recharge thing, it, it's really important. Right, let's make an absolute killing from these berries. That is exactly what I'd like to do. And let's clear the trade post out. Absolutely wonderful. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Okay. Now that that's sorted, I think we want to go and swing by... I think we want to go and swing by both our... Both our current production facilities, our production islands, if you'd like. And we will take all of the goods that have thus accumulated. And then we'll travel to Alderkirk as well. And then we're going to go and get a gem island. That's right, it's going to happen. We're after gems. I... I really, really, really would like to get uh, would like to get some gem islands, given that the price of given that the price of gems is is currently where it's at. I don't know I don't know what the price of gems actually is, but I mean the average price is like a hundred and something. So as long as we're able to make like the same amount of gems per day that we make of uh, of wood, then we will be grand. What do we need? We need to deliver 30 wood. I mean, I do actually have 30 wood. Although, the sad reality is, is that I think I'm going to use most of that wood to... Slightly underpriced wood. I mean, there's underpriced wood here. So we could actually... Yeah, we could actually head straight up over to Stonelock. 
We'll pick up as much wood as we possibly can at a slightly underpriced rate. In fact, everything seems to be underpriced here. So maybe I'll just take everything. I think that's a, a good deal, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, this will leave me with 127, but I mean, that's fine because the good news is, is that we're going to head on over to Greenlow and we'll get our 920 bucks before the, uh, before the week is up. Brilliant. Uh, let me see what they've got over here. They've got more slightly underpriced stuff. I mean, that's wonderful. I'll sell off all of my grain right here since it's very expensive and we're literally never going to get a better deal. So I'll go and do that. I will complete the green low stuff. 15% discount on new ships. Oh, wonderful. I mean, why on earth am I... Why on earth am I doing the resource delivery order with these guys? I should be doing it with the... I should be doing it with these guys over here. The, the Landkirk? No, not the Landkirk ones. Yeah, this is this is the this is the guy that I should be doing it with because he's got the the good stuff. He's got the stuff that I'm after. Okay, so that's sorted. Uh, let me not worry about that too much anymore. There is a recharge station here. Is there a cheaper re recharge station anywhere along the way? Not really. I'll take a full recharge, please, for forty bucks. We've got a bunch of money. Let's go to see what scrap we can get here. Wonderful. And then let's just continue over to Blueshire, I guess. And then maybe I'll, in fact, maybe I'll swing in via Cloudford. See if I can pick up some, uh, some resources. Yep, 85 ducats at the end of the week. That's totally, totally, totally fine. And very much well within the range of what I'm expecting to, uh, expecting to pay. Some cheap stuff and some slightly underpriced stuff. I'll take them both. Uh, berries, I won't take. To be honest, I think it's just better if I buy cheap and slightly underpriced. If I take cheap and slightly underpriced stuff, then I'll always... I'll always be just fine, I think. I'll always be able to make a profit. Right, let's extract some stuff from crates. Good stuff. And then let's head up to Blue Shire, the gem mine. Now, this might be a fairly expensive island to purchase. Storage is full. I simply don't believe that. That is... That is a lot of stuff that we've got stored. I thought that we were going to be able to move a heck of a lot. Wow. 4,250 gold in order to purchase the gem island. Okay, that is significantly out with my budget. Significantly out with my budget. Why don't we go and check out the sand island over here? I say the sand island. Maybe I'm not particularly interested in that sand island. I think I might be more interested in the Ravendale sand island. Yeah. Yeah, let me see if I can go and check out the Ravendale Sand Island. Recharge Station, Far Pole, Northfield, Majestic Carrot. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, I'd like to check out the Sand Island, please. That would be, that would be brilliant. I'm just looking for a cheap recharge station here. Southdale, it's all five. It's all five ducats per a thingamabobber. Let's try and make it to Farpole. Maybe a little bit of an ambitious... You know what? Let's make it to Northfield. There we go. Get the scrap. And let's make it to Northfield. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And with that, we're going to be able to recharge our ship at a very, very, very much reduced rate. 63 ducats. Don't mind if I do. What have we got here? Expensive wood. I mean, I'll sell off a stack of wood. I'll buy... I'll buy a stack of iron. Berries are very expensive, so, I mean, let's absolutely sell everything... everything berry-related. You know what? Don't even bother selling the stack of wood. It's just not worth it, really, I don't think. There we go. Okay, that's a good... that's a good chunk of change. I like it. I like it a lot. We're developing... We're developing a whole bunch of stuff, really. Right, scrappage, and then over to Ravendale to see how much the island's going to cost me. Right, wonderful. What have we got? 
Scout for resources once. Why not? A little bit of sand. And purchase the island for 250 gold. I mean, that is a that is a dirt, dirt, dirt cheap uh, deal right there. So, let's build the storage. Let's get that sorted. Don't need to store goods or anything like that. Digs sand and places it in storage. I mean, that's it's pretty easy, isn't it? Produces gears. Produces medicine from tea leaves and spices and apple juice from apples. I think I'm only interested in the sand pits here. Send all necessary workers. Yep, and then let's upgrade. Let's upgrade. I don't think I'm going to be upgrade to level 5. Oh, I totally can upgrade to level 5 with the exception of not having enough money to do that. 12 sand a day. Okay, I mean, that is brilliant. So if I can sell off some more of my goods, i.e. if I can sell off a little bit more sand. Does anyone want any sand? 30... 30 wood. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Just. We just don't have enough wood. Right. Anyone interested? Oops. Anyone interested in sand? You're interested in sand. Chart a course for wherever that is. And we'll go and collect some scrap along the way. Right. There's some more scrappage over there. That's fine. Right. Let's do this. Let's sell off all of this sand. And this sand... This, uh... This trading post has got a lot of money as well, which is wonderful. Cheap. Spices are cheap. I'll take the spices off your hands. And... I'll also sell you the, I don't know, tea leaves, whatever. Yeah, take them all. Brilliant. So that frees up a gargantuan amount of our storage. Let's take a full recharge as well whilst we're over here. Brilliant. And then let's go over to this area, sort out the crates. Tell you what, I will go right over here. And just whilst I'm here, I'll pick up the wood. Because the wood is normal price. It's a little bit, a little bit irritating that I'm buying wood, but that's fine. Take a tourist on board, hire 50 people. I think I'm going to hire 5 people for 50 gold. Yeah. Current crew is 7, optimal crew is uh, is 4. So I do need to get rid of some people. But I will, I will. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get rid of people. Uh, how much wood do we have on board now? 22 wood on board. Right. Well, there's a couple of things that we got to do. The first is go and pick up this scrap. See what happens when the scrap processor becomes full. One iron into the ship storage. I mean, in hindsight, that is an absolute garbage upgrade. But, I mean, look... You can't, you can't fault me for being an optimist. Can't fault me for being an optimist. Anything that we can sell over here, not really. I will go, I will go to Seafell. I will pick up the berries. I'll get as many of the berries as I can. Berries always seem to be a good way to make a gargantuan amount of money. I'll take a tourist on board. Visit the statue of Girit. Okay, fine. Do I have... I do have two statues. I do have two Statue of Garret orders. So that's cool. Very, very cool indeed. What am I doing? I'm not... Uh, I could do a recharge. Sure, do a recharge. And then... Give me the opportunity to come in and buy all these berries. Brilliant. And, uh, I mean, we could sell wood. But I'm not really interested in selling wood. Because I need the wood. I need the wood in order to... In order to, you know... To do the cloud speak thing. That's real good. Okay, but I need to go via... Do I need to go via my two islands? I mean, not particularly. Not particularly. But I do need more wood. I mean, unless there's more wood en route. I don't think there is. Yeah, I just need to go over to Alderkirk. Okay, 108, 108 bucks per week. But the good news is, is that I'm not in debt with my bank anymore, so, I mean, that's just brilliant. What have we got? Alright, we got good stuff. Alderkirk. Show me what you've got. That's not what I'm looking for. You've got a lot of wood, and that's exactly what I like to see. That is exactly what I like to see. Five wood per day. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 
and even more wood. The the good times just keep on coming. Let's go up to Seabury. The reason that I want to go up to Seabury, even though I don't need the stone right at this very moment in time, is because I do feel like maybe we're getting a little bit close to capacity. Container is full. Yeah, that, that's what kind of worries me, to be honest. Uh, we're doing too well. We're, we're mining too many rocks. Right. Northfield is where it's ridiculously cheap to refuel. So I'm going to go and do that. There we go. Visit the aisle. Yeah, I need to get rid of this scrap processing unit. It's just garbage. It's just absolutely garbage. Ooh, what's that? What's that that I see there? That's right. It's an opportunity to sell off all of my berries, which is brilliant. And that actually allows me to go via Ravendale and get the upgrade that I need in order to in order to make this a level 5 sand production area. So if I do... Nope. This. There we go. Upgrade to level 5. Brilliant. Does that bring my total wood down below 30? It does not. Which is fantastic. So we're now producing sand, stone, and wood. Brilliant. Okay, so the next thing that I want to probably think about producing is berries, right? I think it's I think it's straight up berries. Also, these these resource orders that I can give to the shipwright are probably the best orders that I could conceivably do. Shipwright's friend. Uh, yeah, so do I get a reduction in price? Oh my goodness gracious me. I get a reduction in price by just helping one shipwright. I get a 15% off at every shipwright. I mean, that is delightful. That's 50 lumber. Ooh, okay. So I didn't realize, but the game has clearly started to evolve and will... As things go, uh, it'll require it'll require more from me. I like that. I like that a lot. That is very, very cool indeed. Now, it just so happens that I have a facility to... Uh, I have a facility to make lumber just ready, actually. Ready to be switched on. And that's something that I should probably go and do. Now, there's a bazaar over here. There's stone deposits over there. An apple grove and a forest up there. I mean, honestly... I kind of I kind of said that I wanted to get an apple grove, and I straight up think that that's probably what I should try and do. Uh, I really would love to get gems, but I just I, I just ain't got gems at the moment. I'm afraid I I ain't got the gems. I ain't got the gems to do the job, but that's okay. Right, lumber, 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 lumber. We can go and do lumber. Let's go and via the bank. Let's drop off like a grand of gold or something. We still got loads of stone and iron to trade, so if we sell that, we'll. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll recoup a, a substantial amount of money. Uh, invest like 50%, yeah, and then invest like another 10%, and another 10%, and another 10%. Brilliant. So I don't know what the interest rate that I get from this bank actually is. I wish I did indeed know, but maybe we can get an upgrade. I mean, I do need to visit the, the Land of Giants again and see, and see what they're all about. Wonderful. Let's go to Northfield. We'll get a refuel over here. It's actually the same price as Kingsford. Oh, no, it's not. Kingsford is one. So it's very, very cheap to refuel at Kingsford. But um, but Northfield's not a bad place to refuel, to be honest. It's my second favorite place to refuel after Kingsford. Right. Up to the crates. Extract the crates. Berries. Brilliant. And then... Should we just head up to the Apple Grove place? I mean, to be honest, we could head up to the Bazaar. Let's head up to Silverville. And the reason is, is that the Bazaar is busier on the last day of the week. So if we visit the Bazaar on the last day of the week, there's a chance that we can just absolutely gorge. Uh, I mean, price gorge, that is. Uh, we can, you know, set our prices really, really, really flipping high. Right, interestingly, we get both wood and apples. Cool. Right, now, I've just realized that I don't have enough money to finish the building of the storages and stuff. But that's okay, because, I mean, that was kind of to be expected. So, let's head over to... Oh my goodness, that was unbelievably flipping close. Thank goodness I made it to, uh... To the very end. <laughs> Thank goodness I made it to the start. Right, so... 51. Yeah. 51. Yep. Sell as much stone as we can. 
iron. Iron as well. We'll sell the iron. I mean, there are like hordes and hordes and hordes of visitors. So let's do that. Right, come on. No? No? Nobody's gonna sell? Nobody? Alright, you know what? As it turns out, that could have been worse. It actually could have been worse. And so I get all of that stuff back. Okay, so, I mean, look. It wasn't perhaps the, the most, uh... Most agreeable of prices to most people. But as it turned out, it, it was it was fine for me. Uh, right. What have we got? Cheap wood, expensive berries. I mean, what have I got on my on my person? I got a couple of berries, but nothing nothing major. Very expensive stone. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yes, please. Let's flip and go and sell all this stone over here. And then and then we'll go back up to Silverville with our replenished cash, and we will use uh, use all that cash to build all the buildings that need to be built. Right, we're obviously not going to be able to... We're not going to be able to do a whole bunch of stuff because the money that... The money that, uh, that we're able to make here is just not... Not as much as it should be. Yeah, we need to get this trade post upgraded. Yeah. And then, then, then we need to wait for a refresh, obviously, but... Um, yeah, that's, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's fine. We'll go for a, a full recharge. Sure. Purchase ship. Wow. How garbage. How garbage. I'm in the big leagues now. I'm in the big, big, big leagues now. Okay, let's go up to here. We'll use our crane a little bit more. Very, very conscious of the fact that the crane is very, very low on HP. So, we'll go and do a little bit of scrappage, shall we? And then we'll head up to Silverville. And we'll get a bunch of a bunch of apples. I still need to turn my lumber mill on. And I haven't done that thus far. Right. Build me a storage. Thank you very much. And then build an apple gatherer's hut. It's a good thing that I overhired tremendously. Send all necessary workers. There we go. So now we're down to five crew. Cool. And let's get it upgraded. Let's get it upgraded. And we can't upgrade it to level 4, but I wish I could. We just need a little bit more money in order to do that. So that is totally, totally fine. So forest over there. When does this refresh? Not, not for a little while yet. Gold Dale, very expensive sand. Well, I've got the best sand that you're ever going to get. Right. Let's go to with the wind area. Go to Kingsford. Let's just go for a recharge because they're so darn cheap. So darn cheap to do over here, so we might as well. And then let's head down to Alderkirk. We'll visit the island and we will turn the lumber production on. So, I mean, this is going to do two things. Of course, it's obviously going to give us access to lumber, but it's also going to mean that we're going to draw down on some of the wood. Yeah, turn one wood into two lumber every two days. We could upgrade it, actually. So what does that mean now? Turn two wood into four lumber every day. I think I'm kind of happy with that. I mean, presumably we could go for another upgrade. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's flip and do it. So that's going to mean that we're going to turn three wood into six lumber. Which is kind of good, because it means that we're not going to, you know, just fill up our storage with, with, with wood. Which is going to become less and less useful, presumably, uh, the later that we go. So we've got to be mindful of that. Uh, we've got a little bit more, a lot more actually, a lot more stone right over here, which I can indeed collect upon. Kingsford berries are expensive. Spices are very expensive over here. Let's go and sell off some spices, shall we? There we go. Sell off the spices. Uh, sell off the spices. There we go. Brilliant. 96. I mean, that is, that is garbage. Absolutely garbage. I'll buy the, I'll buy the iron. Sure. I'll bite. Don't feel like it's particularly useful for us. 
but I mean, I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point. Uh, right, should I try and complete some missions? I do have two missions to go and explore the, the worldly market up at the top of the world. Uh, lumber needs to come over here. I need to get rid of that. Lumber over there. Is that literally, is that literally it for missions at the moment? I think that's literally it for missions at the moment. I mean, it would seem sensible to go up to... It would seem sensible to go up to Northfield, get a refuel, a refuel stop at Northfield. Because I think that's the closest... I actually, yeah, that's straight up the closest place. So we'll go over to Northfield. And you know what? It might give me an opportunity to replace this, uh, this garbage module. Yeah, let's take a full, a full refill. Expensive wood. Very expensive berries. I'll sell the berries then, I guess. Oh, yes. I was going to go via Seabury in order to make sure that that didn't, uh, explode production didn't get too high. Right, well, wish me luck. We're gonna go all the way up to the very top of the world. Hopefully, our charge doesn't drop below about 50%. Right. Looks like it didn't drop below 50%, which is very, very nice. Very reassuring. Even if we do need a tow, it should still be fine. Let's visit the statue twice. Brilliant. Let's also see if we can upgrade the ship. I mean, the crane is very, very good. Don't get me wrong. The crane is very, very good. This is just garbage, though. This is absolutely garbage. The auto charger seems important. Scrap magnet. Two times more scrap. We can't afford that, unfortunately. I mean, the spyglass, to be honest, isn't super handy. Although it is actually quite handy. I think we just get rid of this scrap processor. It's just garbage. Mining minerals, sturdy pickaxes. To be honest, even that would be pretty good. But I think I'm going to take the lightning catcher. There we go. Lightning catcher so that now, if I go into a storm, i.e. on the way back, which is kind of my kind of my plan, actually, we can go and collect a little bit of this, of this, of this goodness. Aha, extract. Okay, we actually straight up just get batteries. That's interesting. Very interesting. So, we always need to... Oh, cool. I didn't I didn't even know that, that was a thing. We can, uh, we can select islands to immediately go to. How many batteries did we get? Three batteries? Okay, I mean, that's, that's fine. Not exactly over the moon about it, but, uh, I mean, it is what it is. What cargo have we got on board, and what do we want to sell? I mean, ideally, we'd like to sell some... some iron, really. I need to go and drop off these tourists as well, so... We need to go back to Seafell to drop off the tourist, and also back down to Edge Tree to drop off the tourist. I kind of think that what I want to be... Where I want to be operating is kind of in this corridor between Cloud Peak and Kingsford. That's the area that I think I want to be operating in. Yeah, I need to go to Seabury, and then I need to go to Kingsford, and then I need to sell off all of my stone. That is an absolute must. Okay. Let's go and do that. Let's go and do that right now. That seems really, really important that we do that. Right, so I need to go to... I should probably go to Northfield first. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to Kingsford. Week is over 106. That's fine. You know what? I'm going to try going to Kingsford. We'll take three batteries from the hold. Yeah, three batteries from the hold. That's totally fine. Uh, every time that we see a storm cloud, we can definitely just hit it up now, which is wonderful. Right, sell this real quick. We are going to have nowhere near... Uh, the the trade post is going to have nowhere near the, the money that it needs to give me all that I want for the, for the stone that I'm about to bring it. So that's a bit of a bummer. Well, no matter. Right, we are literally at full capacity at Seabury. I say that. Hold up, maybe I tell a complete lie. We're not quite at full capacity yet. Right. Let's take all this. Uh, yep, you're doing pretty darn good. And let's see. Let's see where we can go. It's Whitehaven, normal price, expensive. 
very expensive wood. How much wood have we got? Not much wood, but, you know, it's accumulating. Slowly but surely. Am I able to perhaps... Am I able to perhaps see... I could maybe get an upgrade, but I don't really... I don't really want to get an upgrade, to be honest. Let's not worry about that too much at the moment. I could pick up the lumber as well, but there's no reason to pick up the lumber until... Until later. Uh, yeah, so you're 5 out of 5 as well. We need to go and swing by and pick up the storage at some point. 50 lumber is indeed required, and that's gonna... That's just gonna make us a ridiculous amount of money. Like, a ridiculous amount of money. So we're looking for some somewhere that's very expensive to sell stone. Cloud Crag? I mean, Cloud Crag is probably not the worst place to go, given that we're going down to Edge Tree here. And in fact, we pick up some batteries as well. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's go to Cloud Crag. Let's sell off all of this, uh... Sell off all of this junk that we're slowly but surely accumulating. And complete the tourism mission. There we go, brilliant. Hire two people. Do I want to hire two people or indeed take a tourist on board? The answer to that is absolutely no. I do not want to do that. Let's go over here. There we go. And some more. Lovely. Just like that. That is how we do it. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Right, so, Cloud Crag, I bet the market's going to be small and pathetic over here. It is pretty small, it is pretty pathetic, which means that I'm going to sell, like, two stacks. Ugh. Ugh. Slightly underpriced. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. I'll buy one iron. Trade post is developed, but it's not going to develop properly until, you know, next, uh, next turn. Refill half. Sure. And then... Let's look at dropping that other tourist off in Seafell. Skykirk. No, I'm still looking. Expensive sand. I tell you what, expensive sand would be really, really good. Seafell... Seafell uh, market's not bad. It is not as good as Skykirk, though. Right, let's go up to Seafell, then let's hit up Ravendale. Let's pick up our sand, and then let's sell it at Skykirk. I think that that should be more than possible. There we go. Making sure that that needs to be doing what I doing what I need to do. Just picking up all of the, the cargo crates along the way. Brilliant. Complete the tourist mission. Takes our finances into a very, very comfortable position. Very expensive wood. Sure, I'll sell off the very expensive wood. I'll buy all of the cheap berries. And that's it, really, I think. In fact, you know what? I'll keep my wood. I'll honestly keep my wood. Uh, the wood is just so much more valuable than than it uh, than it otherwise would be. I should have... I should have absolutely refueled there. Now I'm going to have to refuel in Farpole. But as it turns out, Farpole is a cheaper place to refuel anyway. So, I mean, no harm, no foul, right? No harm, no foul. I'll take a guild task... 20 sand. I don't think I actually have 20 sand, but holy cow, do you know where I'm going? That's right, I'm going to Ravendale, which is the, the land of eternal sand. That's right. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, I can... no. I wish there was a... I wish there was a button which would allow me to move all the stuff over here, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, okay, wow, I, I, I can't take all this sand with me. Okay, fine, I guess I'll leave some stone there. That's cool. I mean, this is looking this is looking really good. It's looking really, really good. Where was I going to head to next? I was going to head to Seafell, was I? No. Northfield. Very expensive berries. Hey. Very expensive berries. I like the sound of that. Week is over 106. I mean, look, that's easy. That's easy. I can totally afford that. I can totally pay for it. Quite happy to, to pay the price. Uh, I'm not going to recharge here. Don't need to. And let me sell off all of these berries and make an absolute killing. Oh, that is so good. 
1,000, 1,100 or whatever. And then let me see if I can go and... Where was I going to go? Was it Seafell that I was going to sell my sand? Skykirk. That was where it was, wasn't it? Unless there is anywhere better. I, to be honest, don't think that there is. Because Skykirk is... I mean, it's an area that I've developed, like, a fair bunch. Also, 48 lumber over on uh, on Alderkirk. That's looking pretty darn decent. Let's pick that up, and then let's skedaddle over to the, uh, the shipwright over on Clouddale, I think it is. Right, take a tourist on board. I can take a tourist on board. Look at the majestic carrot. I mean, that's a... That's a cheap and cheerful little mission, isn't it? Right, here's the here's the big money maker. Right, all of our sand, all of our sand will net us about 1,100. I mean, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Would be nice if it was a little bit more, but you know what? Can't really complain. Trade uh, trade post is almost leveled up as well, which is very very good. Let's go to the majestic carrot. Hit up the majestic carrot, and uh, I guess we can do. Some more singing with the Majestic Carrot. Maybe become better friends with the, the Carrot Boy. Carrot Girl. Right. There we go. And start singing. Blue, orange. Orange, red, green. Orange, red, green. Green, green, orange, red. Green, green, orange, red. Well, hey, Carrot knows you. Longer songs, better rewards. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Uh, there is Skykirk we could go back to. I think I want to go up to Alderkirk. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll buy some iron over here, shall we? There we go. And then we will go and pick up exactly what we need to pick up. I'll refuel. That's really why I came here, to be honest. I'll buy the, the cheap... Uh, the cheapest chips iron brilliant and then let's head across to Alderkirk extract the scrap which is always nice when scrap appears right in front of you and let's see what you've got 54 lumber wonderful and a whole bunch of wood don't mind if I do so that is fantastic that is absolutely fantastic let me head up here I'm just going to briefly check in Seabury, see how much they've got over there. Not a huge amount of stuff. I need to keep better tabs on my uh, on my crane. I also should get that two times that two times scrap modifier. That's pretty darn good. Right, we can go over to Cloud Peak. There's no recharge station over here, but we got a couple of eh, we got a couple of batteries on us, so that's completely fine. We are going to make a re oops, that was really stupid. Uh, we are going to make a ridiculous amount of money from giving this guy 50 lumber or whatever. So, I mean, just wait. Just you wait for it, folks. Just you wait for it. There we freaking go. 30% discount on new ships. Say what? So how much is the ultimate ship going to be? Uh, I mean, 11,000. I mean, I'm, I'm actually halfway there. We could straight up just buy a new ship right now, right? I mean, we can afford the Caravel. We can almost afford, afford the Carac, to be honest. But I don't want to do that quite yet. Resource delivery order. Another 50 lumber. I mean, look. That's just exactly the sort of mission that suits me. I mean, unbelievably perfectly. Because, I mean, let's be brutally honest. I'm not going to stop producing lumber now that I've got the facility to make pretty much as much as I want to. So, I mean, that is just straight up fantastic. I am still going to be gouged on price, which is why it's really important that I make sure I get uh, more recharge stations as I go. But, uh, I mean, look, e everything in moderation, we're going to get there eventually. Ships, ship storage is full. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. That's really good. What is it full with? It's mostly filled with stone. I mean... There's not a lot. There's not a lot of stuff to sell. There's not a lot of places that I can sell. Let's go over to Farpole. Farpole. We'll sell all of our stone or as much of the stone as we possibly can. But there's there's a pretty there's a pretty pathetic amount of uh, amount of money in this trade post. So we'll sell what we can. Actually, maybe I'll be able to sell it all. I mean, that's not bad actually. Gems are really cheap. I'll take gems. 
absolutely. Absolutely, I'll take gems. And I tell you what, developing Farpool into a decent market is something that I really want to do more. Because as I said, I want to operate in the corridor between Cloud Peak and uh, and Kingsford. That's that's really the uh, the objective. Uh, Seafelt, coming to Seafelt, not sure at all why on earth I would do that. I actually wanted to go to Skykirk because I wanted to drop the tourist off. And then I wanted to finish the episode off. That was kind of my uh, my thought process there. There we go. Complete the tourism mission. Brilliant. And I've become even more knowledgeable. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm not going to take a guild task right over here. Just because I don't feel like I need to quite at this moment in time. Can I sell you anything? Um, I can sell you two sand. I can sell you two sand. Then I could sell you a couple of gems. But the gems are only slightly underpriced. Whereas I bought them for cheap. So uh, I wouldn't make that much money. Right. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think that that is a wonderful time to wrap this episode up. Thank you, as ever, for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. This has been Merchant of the Skies. Thanks, as ever, to my fantastic uh, Patreon supporters who help make videos like this possible. And I'll see you next time. Bye.